right, this video is going to be all about how to use the elimination method when solving systems of linear equations. All right, so this is going to allow you to cancel things out from your two equations so that you can directly make one equation and solve from there without having to use substitution or without having to graph it. These problems we're starting out with here are pretty simple. They're going to cancel out easily. We don't have to do much to them where the next three problems are going to be where you have to do something to one of the original equations to make them able to eliminate. So like I said, these ones are going to be pretty quick um, because it's just going to be like we're adding these two equations together, right? When you're adding things like this, you can only combine like terms, which if you notice, a negative x plus a positive x, those are going to cancel out. Positive y minus 5y would get us negative 4y. 5 and a negative 9 would get us negative 4. Divide both sides, we get that y is a positive 1. All right, remember, we don't want to know just y. We also want to know x. So you can plug in to either one of these then to get your y. If we start with the first equation, we have negative x plus y, which we're saying is 1 equals 5. We're going to go ahead and solve, subtract 1. We get that negative x equals 4. So that's like a negative 1x divided by negative 1 we get that x is negative 4. All right, now you should be able to plug both of these in to both equations, and they should work out to get you 5 and negative 9. Go ahead and check that. All right, our second one here, you might notice that our y's are the opposites. We have a positive and a negative, so those are going to cancel out. And then we have 1x and another x, so 2x equals... 12 plus 2, 14. Solve for x by dividing. x is 7. Again, plug into either one of those. So I'll plug into the second one this time. We have x, which is 7, minus our y equals 2. y equals 5. Again, you should be able to plug in to both of these. You should get 12 and 2. Lastly, I changed C a little bit because this is using addition, but you can also use subtraction. So instead of adding them like we just did, we can just subtract the whole thing. Since a positive 5y and a positive 5y would get us 10y if we added them, so we're going to subtract them so they cancel out. All right, 2x minus 3x would get us a negative x or negative 1x. And then remember, we're subtracting, so 5y minus 5y, those are going to cancel. And then negative 24 minus, don't forget we're subtracting, minus 14 would get us negative 38. Divide by negative 1 to get x is 38. Then we can plug that back in. 76 plus 5y equals negative 24 minus 76. We get 5y is negative 100 divided by 5. Plug those in to both of those. Make sure they get you negative 24 and 14. All of these, we did not have to multiply or divide any of our equations by anything to get them to cancel out. We either just added them or subtracted them depending on if they were opposites or if they were the same, right? If they're opposites, you can just add everything up, they'll cancel out. If they're the same, like here, you have to subtract so they cancel out, all right? But what if they don't, they're not set up that nicely, right? It's not 5y and 5y, it's, you know, 2x and 3x, and then 5y and 4y. What do you do then? So with these examples, you're going to have to do something first before you can cancel. All right, notice we have 2x and 5x and 3y and negative y, right? They can't cancel. But I could change one of these. So let's say I took this one, the second equation, times 3 because then this will become a negative 3y and we can cancel those. All right, so we have to times everything by 3 to keep it the same equation. So 5x times 3, negative y times 3, we already said is negative 3y. 
and then 13 times 3 is 39. All right, so now we're getting rid of that second equation. We just change that equation so that we can cancel out like we were doing on the last three, right? We have our positive 3y and our negative 3y. If we were to add those, they'd cancel. 2x plus 15x is 17x. 12 plus 39 is 51. Divide both sides by 17. We get x equals 3. Again, plug into either equation, then to solve for um, y. So let's say 2 times x, which we said is 3. And we end up with y equals 2. Again, should be able to plug those in to either of the originals or this new equation you made, and they should work. Okay, B, we can do the same thing, cancel our y's. Um, so let's say this time I could either take this times 4, right, and th that would make this a positive 4y, and then I could just use subtraction, so subtract everything. Um, but I don't really like subtracting that much i'd rather just add so another option you would have would be to multiply everything by a negative four all right either way you're going to get the same thing it's really just your preference all right so if we multiply everything by negative four negative 8x positive 32 all right, and I did that, so then this way I can just use addition, right, because 4y plus a negative 4y, those are going to cancel. Negative 3x and negative 8x would get us negative 11x. 12 and 32 is going to get us 44. We're going to solve for x to get x is negative 4. Plug into either one, so let's plug into the first one, so negative 3, they were saying x is negative 4, plus 4y, we don't know what y is yet, equals 12, we right, just replace that x with what we think it is, <clears throat> and then go ahead and solve. You want to go ahead and check that you can plug it into either one if i plug it into the first one negative three we said x is negative four would get us 12 plus four times zero is zero which gets us 12 it works out make sure you check it with that one as well and our last one is slightly different because you might notice i can't multiply this by anything to get it to cancel out with this and i can't multiply this by anything to cancel it out with this I'm going to have to multiply both of them by something to get them to be equal. For a common multiple, so for example, 2 and 3, we can both multiply those by something to get 6, right, by each other. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to take this first one, the whole thing times 3, because then that will make my 2x become 6x. And we're going to take my second one, the whole thing times 2, because again, that will get me my 6x. Um, which then you could do subtraction or you can multiply the whole thing by negative 2 and do addition just like we did on the previous one. Again, up to personal preference. I'll go ahead and leave it and do subtraction this time just so you can see that. All right, so I'm going to just rewrite both of these here down below. So I'm taking that top one times 3. 2x times 3 is 6x. 4y times 3 is 12y. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Rewriting the second one, 3x times 2 is 6x. 5y times 2 is 10y. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Now remember, these are matching, so we can't add them. That would get me 12x, so we want to subtract the whole thing. 6x minus 6x, those are going to cancel. 12y minus 10y is going to give me 2y. Negative 12 minus a negative 6. A double negative actually turns into a positive. So negative 12 plus 6, negative 6. 
and then solve for y. Those equations then to solve for x. So 2x plus 4y, we're seeing y is negative 3. I'm just plugging into the first one. And then solve. I'm going to go ahead and check that by plugging it into the second equation. So 3 times 4 plus 5, we're saying y is negative 3, so 3 times 4 would get us 12. 5 times negative 3 would be negative 15. 12 minus 15 would get us the negative 3. All right, so all of these you're able to check to guarantee you got them right, so I would only suggest doing that. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you would like to see next, and subscribe so you don't miss the next video.